Well, good afternoon, people. Early evening. Uh, how are you all diddling? Got an emergency appointment at dent. Uh, let's start again. Got an emergency appointment at dentist. So let's crack on with it. Shut up and sit down. Yeah, a, an emergency appointment at the dentist. Um, got so over the last three, four days, I've had awful toothache. And it's spreading across my mouth, so I think it's some sort of infection. And I absolutely hate going to the dentist, but ugh, needs must. I've been in that much pain with it. Now, of course, I, I hate going to the dentist. Um, the dentist I was at, my membership lapsed, so they got rid of me. And to get registered with a dentist in Scarborough is impossible because last, for the last five years they have not been taking on any new patient, patients at all. And it's, it's not just Scarborough, it's, it's most of North bloody Yorkshire. It's ridiculous. So after ringing round umpteen dentists this morning trying to get an emergency appointment, I was resorted to calling 111 NHS do that thingy um, as an emergency and getting them to find a dentist that will do uh, an emergency NHS appointment. Also mentioning my uh, lower back pain and what have you, it got that bad that um, got that bad that I had to go to the emergency room because uh, I thought there was something seriously, seriously wrong. Um, a lot of it, a lot of the reasoning why I went to the emergency room was because a lot of you guys on Facebook talked me into it. I posted it on Facebook and I just I didn't feel as though it warranted going to A&E a &E. so you guys uh, all talked me into it mainly by scaring me so you know it could be a testicular torsion or this that whatever which sort of scared me into going so thank you guys but I went and the doctor was absolutely shite he was arrogant self-opinionated belittling just not a very nice guy at all he told me that the pain I was having could not be related uh, lower back testicles he says that's impossible he told me the uh, NHS emergency uh, help what help number online thing the 111 service was a complete pile of shite and they shouldn't have sent me there he also says that I shouldn't have come on a Saturday regardless then he proceeded to tell me that I was on the wrong, wrong medication that I've been on for years even though he didn't have a clue about my history. He then pre proceeded to tell me that I'd wasted not only my own time, but his time. Meanwhile, I was in complete agony. Um, he did give me a quick e examination. He got me to lay down flat on the bed and he checks my balls, my testicles, <laughs> which are extremely tender and causing a lot of pain in my stomach and my lower back, like they do. He says lower back and stomach pain cannot be related to testicles which is bollocks you ask any guy that's been flicked on his nuts or kicked in nuts it bloody well can anyway they're still extremely tender it's hurting just sat on bike then it says uh, if I feel as though I am still in pain even though there's nothing wrong with me there is exact words then make an appointment with my GP to get referred to a specialist then it says but it'd be a waste of time because they wouldn't find anything. So I was rather hesitant <coughs> phoning up the NHS doodah about this toothache because they sent me to A&E last time and I had to go through that with that fucking prick. It wasn't a nice experience. Everybody's told me I should put in an official complaint so I'm gonna do. But anyway with all this pain um, in my bollocks and my back and my pelvis and then with the, the toothache uh, I haven't been to uni for a, a bit mainly because I couldn't stomach the ride on the bike <coughs> and there's no other way for me to get there which gave me a lot of time to reflect on the course that I'm doing so between starting a new course which is a massive thing to do an MA between that and feeling ill and in pain I had a very negative outlook to my future and the reasoning behind doing certain things so I've been doing a lot of thinking and I won't, I won't let you know now 
because I've not decided yet and things haven't this haven't been set in motion. But yeah, there's a there's a change coming. So yeah, been ill, in pain, and generally feeling shitty causes shittiness in my mind, which causes me to question things and reassess things. And the dentist I'm going to is somewhere just up here. I did look for it on Google Maps. And saw that it was just there. For his own dental practice. Go get my gob fiddled with an Being at total pain. What time was it? Five to four. Appointment's not till half past four, but it's only getting for quarter past for paperwork. Because obviously I'm not a, a registered patient here. There'll be paperwork to do. sound a little bit funny well, my, uh, my mouth's a bit numb and full with gauze because he's just ripped my tooth out it turns out I had a, a pretty nab, nasty abscess underneath the molar top of my mouth on right and it were a little bit on loose size not loose, loose but enough that warranted it taking it out. So that's another tooth gone. I ain't got that many left in my fucking mouth now. But the main thing is, the tooth's out, the infection should clear up because it's no longer absent. Uh, yeah, but the thing is, the tooth's out. Yes, I'll be in pain for a day or two, but it's better than the pain that I've been having because it was starting to spread it throughout my gums and affecting all the rest of my teeth. Uh, I need to go a long way around because I need some milk. I need to go to Proudfoot's. All I can smell now is... Uh, all I smell. Yeah. All I can taste now is blood in my mouth. Blood. 
bloody mouth filling up with blood and I'm having to swallow it. Because I can't spit it out because I've got my bloody helmet on. <coughs> got a nice roast chicken in the fridge. I'm not going to have that today, but... Oh, that's milk in a few bits, but... Go on and wait for this. No volcano, or whatever they call it, to wear off. Right folks, uh, thanks for joining us on this short one. Hope you enjoyed seeing me getting my tooth pulled. And uh, until next time, for my safe beef trunk, and I'll catch you all later. Bye for now. Shut up and sit down.